Don, has, any, Don, has any sane person ever loved you? <laughs> yeah, your wife, Jerry. Oh! Your wife did, you G bastard. <laughs> <laughs> I'll tell your wife, Anyone leave else? me alone. <laughs> no. Hey, Jerry. Why am I making fun? Oh, stop it. I Get used to love you. Well, Shut up. I don't want you to love it. me, you witch. You white piece of trash. They say okay. I have to forgive you, but I'll never. Uh -uh. Don't worry about it. Don't worry about it, baby. <laughs> Jerry. Who, uh, hey, wait a second. Who are those clowns with you? Yeah. Yeah. Why don't you ask them, Jerry? You just, you just mad because one of those clowns don't have your niece. That's I have her. That's Frick, Frick and Frick. Much Shut up. Jeff. Who's this, who's this guy? I am the Grand Dragon. You what? I am Mickey's cousin, Billy. Do you know I'm him? The, I don't really recognize him. You don't recognize him? You, you got the right name, Billy. You have a long time, you loving bitch. That's your cousin, you stupid eyes. Don't worry about, about nothing, guys. Have you contracted the cancer, too, by being around him? Is it contagious? No. no, but I know that you'll be disowned from now on. Even when he's dead and gone, you'll be disowned. I don't want to have anything Good. to do with you. Good. I don't want okay, to have you ready, you serious. Loving, loving bitch. If your whole family is I'd like... I'd put him up against you any day. Yeah. Yeah. You if you're a whole family, hammer and it's reach down your throat, I jerk your heart out, you oh. loving whore. Yeah, yeah, you talk that over there in Georgia. That's uh, why right. you should be behind the screen. Why are you coming to come Chicago with that madness? Yeah. You come, come to Georgia. Chicago with No, don't. Okay. Wait a minute, before I die, I'm going to pass a sword on over to my nephew. Oh. Thank you. And I the hate the real story will and it's go called on. the B-I-B-L-E. You better learn to read, you stupid bitch. Okay, all right. I got to wrap it this up. Shut up, I sincerely you hope, Honestly, I hope, I hope you live long enough to find God. You know, you need it. Really? Okay. You're the one. You're the one. I have a question for the clan members. How long have you guys all been members? I've been members. It doesn't matter years. how long you've been a member. Yes, man. <laughs> yeah, this is for the Popeye looking guy. Why don't you eat a can of spinach and leave both those ugly skanks? <laughs> Talking about me. To the lady with the black and white shirt on, we are women. Go take a. Yeah. Hi, this is to the lady in the red and the gentleman in the black and uh, the grand uh, pooba. I'm, I'm from the south. We all don't hate. We love our fellow I man. Know. Okay. Hi. Can oh, I apologize? Oh, can I apologize, Jerry? Yeah. Well, I lied. I'll see you in hell, you Jew bastard. <laughs> you hear me, Jerry Spring? I'll see you, you in hell. Where you're going. Okay. okay. Uh, Why don't you guys go ahead and take your hoods off, man? If you're not scared of being who you are, man, take your hoods off. Let's see who you really are, man. Okay, go ahead. You're going to take it. Oh. 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 How you doing, Jerry? I'm fine. Thanks for asking. <laughs> I got a question for that big hermaphrodite in the back corner over there. <laughs> yeah, you. Yeah, I got one word, five syllables. You're an ugly bitch. That's all I know. You ain't right, now for anyone. You look like.
I've got a question for the insane clown posse. Where did, did Vanilla Ice give you those clothes? Did Vanilla Ice give the clothes? Did Vanilla Ice give you the clothes? <laughs> oh, Vanilla Ice wouldn't be caught dead in that. <laughs> I've got a question for the Ku Klux Klan guy. Um, how can you hate your niece like that? Because everybody dies, eats, and breathes the same way. Yeah. Let's get an answer. I'm going to die, and I'm going to continue to hate her. Period. She will die one of these days, and she's going to burn in hell. No, actually, whenever you die, you're going to burn in hell. Let me tell you something. Well, let me tell you something. I could take Viagra for 16 weeks, and I still wouldn't be ready for you, witch. I'm not worried about it, because I know I'm going to heaven with Jesus. You can go down with the you devil all you want. can continue to hate after your dad when she's going to go on living her life, loving the man in her life. The hate will go on right here through me. My question is for the lady in the front row in the black and white. Did you really think that he was bringing you on the Jerry Springer show to um, give you roses? Not really. Usually when you get an invitation to Jerry Springer, it's for news that's not so great. Young lady, you take a look at her, and you take a look at me. Now, okay. who would you pick? Okay, I agree. Yes, you look... Yes, you're I not a good lady, but what did you think was going to happen? What? You do look nice. I agree with that, but what did okay, you think was going to happen on the Jerry Springer show? I thought the bitch was going to get dumb. <laughs> Um, this lady in the black and white, yes. Uh, yes. I don't care what she's done or whatever, that still makes you a home-wrecking hoe. Yeah! You don't know me. You don't know the question of the home-wrecking hoe. You don't know what he's done for a home-wrecking hoe. You're a home-wrecking hoe. Are you having fun? To the lady back there, I'd leave her alone because she looked like she's going to cast a spell on your own. <laughs> I'll be back with a final thought. Thank you all. Let me take this opportunity to thank you all for being with us and uh, good luck in the decisions uh, that you make. You know, uh, a lifetime of misguided hatred is unlikely to be changed by an appearance on a television show, particularly one as crazy as ours. And yet, as clownish as the clan types appear to be in today's world, perhaps if we view this hurtful dysfunction from the outside, some who might otherwise be tempted to succumb to the evil of racism will see its illogic, its absurdity, its sacrilegious defiance of virtually any concept of God and his love. They suggest that they join the clan because they are proud of being white. Well, I continue to be amazed at how anyone can be proud of something of which they had nothing to do. Nobody chooses their color or race, so how can you take pride in it when it's simply something you're handed at birth? It's like being proud of your height. No, if these people are seeking self-esteem, something of which they can be proud, then work at being a good and decent and caring human being, grateful for the gift of life, and compassionate and respectful towards all of God's creations. Be proud of what you do. Only then can you be proud of what you are. Till next time, take care of yourself and each other. <laughs>